Okay, let's get this unboxing underway. First, a little background. So, this is my new internet solution as I prepare to get back on the road. And um, it maybe needs a little explanation as to why I need to consider a new internet solution since what I've been using has been working really great. Um, and what I have been using is T-Mobile's 5G home internet solution. Now, it's always been known that the T-Mobile 5G home internet service is a fixed address service, which basically means that you can use it at the address where you signed on and registered uh, uh, the service at. And um, <laughs> as things go, I guess, many people just took it with them out on the road anyway. Uh, and away from their home of record, the address where they signed on to the service. And it worked. It was just fine. And it turns out that many of the T-Mobile stores either encouraged it or certainly didn't try to discourage it. And uh, so everybody was just kind of very happy that it worked and whatnot and just drove around with it as did I. But uh, earlier this summer there was a grumbling about how T-Mobile was about to change the rules. Yeah, not really change the rules, they're just gonna enforce the rule. The rule that this is a fixed address service. And so that would mean that they would have to start geo-blocking your use of T-Mobile 5G home inter internet if you were away from the cell towers that you were normally connecting to. Okay, um, fine. Uh, so what was going to be the alternative? Well, they introduced a brand new plan called the T-Mobile Away Plan. Now, the T-Mobile 5G home internet plan was costing me $50 a month. I believe the service actually costs $60, and then there's like a maybe a $10 uh, auto pay discount. And so, yeah, I was paying $50 a month. I have been paying $50 a month. The new T-Mobile Away plan which uses the exact same gateway device as the 5G home internet service uses, was said to cost $160 per month. <clears throat> My voice broke saying that. Uh, and I think a lot of people swallowed hard on that one it's more expensive than even Starlink. Uh, many people started calling the plan the go-away plan because all anyone could figure is that T-Mobile just wanted us to go away and not even bother to sign up for the service. So I don't know how much traction they'll get with the um, new T-Mobile away plan. We'll see. They haven't fully implemented it yet and um, I have traveled recently with the 5G home internet service after hearing that in certain markets they were beginning to um, test the geo-blocking capabilities that they're putting in place. And I noticed some oddities in the internet service that I was receiving. Like I'd get really great download speeds, but I'd have almost unusable upload speeds. So I don't know if that was part of it or not. M might have had nothing to do with it at all. In any case, the T-Mobile Away plan is pending. And uh, I really can't have that interrupting my internet service, so I had to think of a different way to deal with it. Turns out that the 
T-Mobile business internet service, in particular the business internet unlimited plan, costs about the same amount as the T-Mobile 5G home internet and has unspecified um, addressing restrictions. They pretty much say that it can be used for pop-up um, uh, usage, like for example a remote uh, broadcast uh, if you're doing live streams or something, uh, if your company does live streams and you, you need to be able to uh, spool up a, uh, a remote broadcast from somewhere. Uh, also, uh, being that this is a business internet plan, you might have workers that uh, are at various locations. So, uh, geo-restricting doesn't seem to be a key factor in the business internet unlimited plan. So, I've gone ahead and signed on to that plan and we'll just see how that goes moving forward. The small or the uh, business internet unlimited plan is a plan in which you have to bring your own device. I they have different plans where you can get uh, some of T-Mobile's devices, either a a uh, hotspot device or there's um, a specific plan that's called the small business internet plan which uses the exact same gateway device as the 5G home internet service uses so um, I, yeah, I guess could go that way but my decision was to uh, go with a new gateway device that I can use to hopefully communicate with the cell towers a little bit more intelligently and um, possibly get even greater service than I had been getting with the 5G home internet gateway device. It wasn't always perfect, but uh, often it was very good. So um, anyway, uh, and as you may also know, I do have Starlink on board, so if I'm completely out of uh, cell coverage areas. I can always throw Starlink out on the ground, uh, but it takes a lot more setup and is a little bit more um, affected by uh, how much sky you can uh, put the dish under. If there's a lot of trees uh, overhead, uh, it may struggle to talk to the satellites through those trees. So there's downsides, but uh, the further west we go, the less the, the tree density is and whatnot. But let's face it, if I happen to be Wally docking in a Walmart parking lot uh, as I'm traveling from place to place, I can't be throwing uh, the Starlink uh, dish out on the uh, Walmart parking lot pavement. That's just not going to work. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what... I have purchased to try and come up with a new solution and it's all right here so let's unbox there's a small envelope we'll get to that one last uh, and then we'll do the uh, big box here first we'll use the little unboxing knife and uh, slice right into this so yeah I haven't uh, even opened it to preview what's in the box yet we're doing this live, well, kind of. You're getting the recorded version. For me, it's live. All right. Lots of uh, packing paper. I'll just put the knife over here. packing and uh, this purchase is through mobile must-have so our little thank you for ordering card and you're very welcome my initial impressions of mobile must-have are extremely positive shout out to Anthony who helped me with the ordering process uh, for this they had a little thing going on to uh, get an additional discount 
and um, uh, he needed to work with me through some cart issues but we got that all uh, fixed up and the order was placed and came in promptly so very cool thank you Anthony appreciate your help uh, mobile must have so far gets a big A plus okay here's the uh, the main event I think is uh, what this is going to be this is a Pepwave Max BR1 Pro 5G. It is a cellular embedded router that is 5G capable. I'm going to move this away so we've got some room here to work with. And, ta-da! little foam on top. And then here is the device itself. Let's take it out of its protective sleeve. And here we go. Again, this is the Pepwave Max BR1 Pro 5G. So this talks to 5G cell towers on a 4x4 MIMO antenna uh, structure. It also has a GPS antenna and it has its own antenna um, for Wi-Fi. So comes in through the cell towers onto these uh, antenna ports. This acts as a router and um, then these uh, antenna ports are for the local Wi-Fi that it establishes. You can also connect with Ethernet cables and um, you can also connect an external WAN source so like Starlink. I could connect Starlink to this and it could work with both the cell towers and Starlink to provide a combined uh, service that way. So, okay, there is that and um, we'll take a look at what else is in the package uh, flip to start okay well I don't know how to flip this because it doesn't seem to want to come out come on you can come out come on all right well there fine I don't know what this is in here there we go Okay, it looks like a quick setup guide is what this is all about. Okay, so that's fine. And then in the little accessory tray we have an AC wall wart, uh, some cables and whatnot to get things all connected. And then at the bottom of the box are all of the antennas that connect to the device. So there's four antennas for the input side from the cell towers so that's four by four multiple in multiple out MIMO and then there are two local Wi-Fi antennas that will establish a Wi-Fi uh, within the van and probably around it as well okay so there we go that is the new cellular embedded router that I will be using to get internet. Just going to kind of put this all back together. Okay, uh, this also, this kit also came with a 
12 volt power adapter. So in addition to the um, AC adapter that I can use, uh, if I'm plugged into my inverter in the van, I could also, if I've got a 12 volt source on the house batteries, connect to that as well. So I may look into this into the future. Currently with the T-Mobile 5G home internet uh, gateway, I am, sorry about the plane flying overhead, I'm right next to an airport. Um, currently with the 5G uh, home internet box from T-Mobile, I'm just using its AC adapter, so um, using the AC adapter that came with the uh, Peplink is um, is probably how we'll go, at least at, at first. If I can figure out a way to uh, wire into the uh, house batteries, that, uh, that would be a good thing. Now the other thing that came in this bundle is this antenna. And this is from a company called Parsec. And um, um, uh, what is it called? I will uh, put the name of the uh, uh, antenna itself on the uh, on the video here, so that you can have the name of it. Uh, it's actually Akita. It's an Akita light antenna. And uh, so this is an omnidirectional antenna that I can basically just set in the window in the van, and it can pick up the cell towers in lieu of using the antennas that came with the Peplink uh, device. Uh, with any luck this will have a much greater reach and can hear the uh, cell towers from greater distance. And uh, another thing that a lot of people will do with this antenna is mount it to a pole outside the van or RV whatever and um, and uh, get even better signal that way. So this is for those remote, <coughs> excuse me, this is for, <coughs> so this is for those remote uh, situations in which signal is uh, pretty marginal and I need a little assistance. So hopefully this will help out. And it comes with a bunch of different uh, mounting accessories, including some suction cups, because this could just suction cup to the uh, uh, side windows in the van and uh, just use it that way uh, so that it can, uh, can see out the window, right? Um, so, antenna, cellular embedded router, and DC wiring kit. And one more thing. <clears throat> and this comes from T-Mobile. I can open this up. <laughs> okay. It's in here somewhere. There it is. And it is a SIM card. And um, this is what I put into the Peplink, and this is what allows it to talk to the T Mobile towers. So, what other stuff have we got here? Welcome to a new wireless world. Okay, kind of the same old wireless world, but a new way of talking to that wireless world. And then it's just kind of an invoice kind of thing, packing list, whatever. So, that's the unboxing. Now it's time to go and figure out how to get this all set up and operational so we can get internet on the road again. Okay, I'm at a bit of a loss as to how to set up the camera here, so right now it's just on the same box that I'm going to be using uh, to place the new Pepwave cellular, 
cellular embedded router on while it's in use and um, so let me just kind of um, show you a little bit of the setup here so we're in uh, Joy's cab I'm using a pillow to press the um, sunscreen that I have against the windshield <laughs> otherwise it will sag and not work and um, normally what I do is I take my T-Mobile 5G home internet box and place it up here in the windshield I've got this little piece of uh, plastic here it's actually a little uh, cutting board that I don't actually use as a cutting board but it's being used as a sun uh, sc uh, screen right now just to keep the heat of the sun from directly uh, heating the, the box up. Whether or not I will actually be putting the pep wave up onto the dash like this or not is still a question. I might, but also I have this uh, car organizer that normally would just sit in the seat. It's kind of sitting between the seat and the uh, dash. And um, I don't know, it just kind of works. And I've also been putting the uh, 5G home internet box up on this, and that's been working just fine too. I don't have a, um, a sunshade in the passenger side window, and so I think signal gets in just fine. It doesn't have any, you know, metalized uh, surface blocking signal. So anyway, what I need to do is go ahead and uh, put the antennas on this guy and then plug it into power. I've actually already connected power to a extension cord that I have running up here into the cab for AC power. This device can be powered by DC, but I haven't got that uh, squared away yet. So in the meantime, we'll just run AC off the inverter and uh, do it that way. Okay, so let's get these antennas hooked up. So there are two antennas for the uh, LAN, the local area network, the Wi-Fi that the PepLink creates. So there's one. And uh, here comes number two. I've already put the SIM into this device. So that's uh, ready to go. So there's our Wi-Fi antennas. And now we need to install the 4x4 MIMO antennas. I want to make sure that I don't uh, plug into the GPS mistakenly because they're the same connector. They're labeled on the back so I know which one's which. And uh, there's just four of these that need to be installed and tightened. Okay, they're all just finger tight and uh, installed. So there we are. The power connector is in the back here by the Wi-Fi antennas. So I will just grab its power connector, plug it in. And we've got power. Now let's just watch and see it power up. The uh, status Wi-Fi and cellular 
lights all need to go green and then we'll know that it's fully booted and ready to talk to the internet. Takes a while to boot. Status is green. Wi Fi is green. With any luck, cellular will go green as well. The SIM card is supposed to be already activated. On T-Mobile, there we go. Well, we've got a flashing green cellular light, so let's hope that's normal. And now it's time to go get on the computer and access the device's um, uh, control panel. Let's go ahead and uh, connect to Wi-Fi. As you can see on the screen here, I've got no Wi-Fi, so I'm going to click down here and take a look and see what's available. The Peplink uh, B3F8 is the device I need to connect to. The security key I have on the clipboard, and so let's see if it lets me in. Perfect. Connected. Secured. Okay. Now I need 192.158.50.1. And that should get us into the router's config. Oh, 158.168. Uh, your connection isn't private. Okay, well, let me in anyway. Continue. All right. Um, initially, the username and password are the most insecure username and password of all. Admin and admin. And we're in. Password has been changed. Okay. SSID is going to be Joy Wi Fi. Password has been changed. All right. We are now in. We are connected to T-Mobile. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. 
um, on the Wi-Fi, we are seeing Joy Wi-Fi, connect automatically, connect. Enter the network security key. That is going to be Enter that. Connected, secured. Excellent. Uh, we should be in good shape at this point to go ahead and browse the internet. Let's see if it works. Get a uh, new page here and let's just go to um, Windy. Look at that. Alive and kicking. We're up and running, and this is our new internet solution going forward. Thank you, T-Mobile, for the uh, business internet unlimited plan at uh, $50 a month. And to Peplink for the uh, Max BR1 Pro 5G cellular embedded router. That's going to get us there. And uh, let's uh, do another thing here that would be a good thing to do. Let's go to um, speedtest.net. And OK, go. Ping is 67. Ooh, that's good. Looking good so far. Like to see things up in the 200s or better. That's great. And very stable. No jitter in that uh, signal. Yeah, I'd like to see a better upload than that. Now, I may be able to change towers by adjusting the bands that I'm using to um, connect to the tower and that may give us a better upload and download speed so we'll try that at uh, some point here going forward but for now a um, little over four that'll do for now cool we're rocking